I've ported id software classic commander keen to the web browser. No emulators, no tricks. This is a web native version of Keen that runs on both desktop and mobile browsers. Now, for those that don't know, WebAssembly is the other language that can run in the browser. So you have JavaScript and you have WebAssembly. It was first released in 2017, and in 2024, it's the way to run high performance applications in the browser. Now, usually you don't just write WebAssembly. You take a higher level language like C or C++ and you compile it down to WebAssembly, which then runs in your browser. To start my build, I needed a Keen source port and I found the perfect candidate on the public Commander Keen forum. Written entirely in C, Chocolate Keen is a reverse engineering of the original Keen binaries with the goal of accuracy and authenticity to the original. As someone who's been dissatisfied with Keen on DOSBox, this is something that super appealed, an authentic version of Keen that runs natively on a modern OS. Next up, I needed a WebAssembly compiler to compile the chocolate Keen C code to WebAssembly. I chose mscripten, and after some tweaks to get the build working, the initial run was a total failure. The game triggered a freeze on the first load, no animation, no gameplay, no nothing. After some detective work, I found the issue. The code was in fact running fine, but it didn't have time to render frames to the screen, so it appeared to freeze. To understand why, we need to dig into some WebAssembly mechanics. Most traditional video games run on a render loop, at a super high level, the flow is first, read input from the keyboard, so what keys are being pressed. Second, run some logic to calculate what needs to happen in the frame. Third, draw the updated frame. And last, wait until it's time for the next frame. This loop repeats for every frame, 60 times per second, and that creates the movement and the graphics that you see on the screen. This traditional approach works great on traditional hardware. Whilst the CPU is running all the logic and code, the graphics card pulls image data from memory and draws it to the screen. It all works in parallel. With WebAssembly, things are a bit different. The program runs forever in this render loop and it never returns control back to the browser. So nothing gets drawn and the app appears to freeze. To fix this, we need to find another pattern. And luckily for us, there is one. This is an mscripten loop, and it's not really a loop at all. You use the mscripten set main loop helper, and you specify your function that you want to run every frame. In this case, I've called it render frame and mscripten will call that function 60 times per second. With this outside-in solution, the browser keeps control. It calls the render frame function on its own schedule. It lets it run, and then once it's done, the browser gets back control, and it handles activities like drawing to the screen and reading input, and all the other things it needs to do. So it's not a real loop. It's a WebAssembly mechanic to simulate a loop but it works great for WebAssembly and it will 100% solve our issue. Unfortunately, there's a catch. I looked through the Chocolate Keen source code and rewriting this to mscripten loops was going to be a major task. There's a GUI loop, a main loop, and a lot of global shared state. This was going to be a days or weeks effort, not the quick weekend project I had in mind. So I needed to find another way, and luckily I found one. The solution I found was Asyncify. This takes our compiled synchronous code and transforms it to pause and give control back to the browser. Even better, Asyncify even understands our SDL delay calls in our chocolate keen code. Every time mscripten sees one of these, it adds the necessary logic to 
record the program state, pass control back to the browser to draw frames, and then carry on executing from where it left off. Of course, this does create some extra overhead. The call stack has to be constantly unwound and rewound, but this is Commander Keen, and mod machines are plenty fast enough to run it, even with the extra overhead. With the Asyncify compiler option in place, the game finally runs straight into another issue, level data. I needed to figure out how to make level data available to Chocolate Keen. After some more detective work, I discovered that mscripten has the ability to preload files and create something called a file bundle that loads with our WebAssembly code. So when our program runs, it thinks it's accessing a real file system and can load files from it. So after some more makefile magic, I was able to bundle the original shareware version of Commander Keen. And this time it works great. Check it out. To finish the project, I wanted to add mobile support. I mocked up some touch controls, and then I wrote a JavaScript event handler to send the finger tap signals to WebAssembly as keyboard events. It's crude, but it works well, and I've been able to complete the game on my iPhone, so that's a passing grade for me. Overall, this project was great fun. I was able to get Commander Keen built and running in the browser, and I learned a bunch about WebAssembly along the way. The result feels much more authentic than DOSBox, especially the sound, and I really enjoyed playing Keen on the phone too. If you want to play yourself or learn more about WebAssembly, find links in the description below. What are your thoughts? Do you remember playing Commander Keen? Are there any other games I should port to WebAssembly? As always, comments and questions down below. Enjoy!